In this particular lecture, let's work on actually creating a component for this particular code here. And that component is going to be the food list component. So let's go ahead and let's create a new component by going in the components folder. And I will create a component called as food list.jsx. I would say export default function food list and simply make this thing return a div for now. So div. And what I could simply now do is I could take this code which we had over here and I could simply paste it inside this food list component right away inside in between these two divs. All right. So if I do that, now I could simply go ahead and use this food list component over here. And what that will simply do is take this code and kind of substitute it over here. So I would say food list and that's it. So now once we add food list here, you'll also be able to see that the food list actually requires the food data which we have up over here. So as you'll notice, the food list component is there. We have added that up over here as well. But right now nothing is being displayed here. That's because we have an error. And the error is because this food list component does not have access to the food data. So we simply have to pass in the food data over here as props, just as we have passed it to the search component here. So I could either copy this or I could type this as well. So food data is going to be food data. So we have passed it as prop. Let's go to that particular component, except the prop. So food data. If I do that, if I go back to the browser, our app is again up and running. So as you can see, now we have everything organized in different components. Now there's one more level deeper, which you could go and create another component here. So let's say, over here, instead of displaying the food items like that, like food.title, uh, food.image, so on and so forth, what you could do is you could instead go ahead and create another component over here called as a food item component. And the reason why we need a food item component is because this is a list and the list is going to render multiple items. So rather than writing the code for those items over here like that in an unorganized manner, you could create another component, which is the food item component. So let's go ahead and let's create a food item component in the next lecture and kind of make this code even more organized and even more modular. So let's do that in the next one.